Well, welcome back. Well, at a time that retailers are struggling, one clothing brand is growing like a vine. The Connecticut-based Vineyard Vines, started in 1998 by two brothers selling ties, now has 95 stores across the nation. The brand is also sold in stores like Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. Joining me right now are Chef Murray, Vineyard Vines co-founder and CEO, and Ian Murray, Vineyard Vines co-founder and CEO. Good to see you both. Thank you so Thanks, much for joining Maria. us. Yeah, I've been following the company for a lot of years, and I've seen how you've grown it. Talk to us about how you started this and why you left your desk jobs to go into retail like this. Want to go? Um, sure. I mean, we were working down the street in Manhattan, and we didn't like our jobs. We were young. I was 23. Shep was 27. And uh, we decided that we could make neckties to sell to everyone who goes to Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket for the weekend and comes back to the floor of the Stock Exchange and wants to, they can't wear a T-shirt, so they wear something that represents Martha's Vineyard or Nantucket. How tough was it? I mean, to really, you had an idea, but you had to put it into practice. You know, I think the idea was to bring the good life to work with you. And it's in a time when casual workplace was at its height. Everyone was wearing black mock turtlenecks and all that sort of stuff. The idea was to bring the good life to work. And, and kind of our, our company mantra is every day should feel this good. And so, you know, right now it's all about make America great again. We wanted to make clothing fun again. And, uh, and so that's what we did. And, and, and I love the symbol of, of, yeah. of the whale. It's pretty fun. Yeah. We grew up, uh, our father actually carved wooden whales over our door, so that's how we got our logo. And uh, our customer early on was a guy wearing Nantucket red shorts and a faded blue polo shirt, so that's how we got the pink and blue color. But I love it. But, but I mean, you, you had to actually get the funding. You had to get access to credit. How easy or tough was that in terms of, of, of creating this business? I mean, well, what happened was we had this idea, and we were... Um, I had spent a couple of years working on the New York Stock Exchange. We were big followers of you um, in, in your past uh, job, and, um, and Ian was working at a PR agency, and then I went to work for Madison Avenue, and we were like, we didn't want our boss's job. And so we had nothing to lose by going out on our own and starting this. So 20 years later, with a credit card cash advance of $8,000, um, we have all these stores and an amazing, amazing team who help us live every day should feel this good. And we still own 100% of the company. Wow. So we're celebrating 20 years now, but we just wrote credit card checks to ourselves. We totaled about seven or $8,000. We bought a couple hundred ties that we figured out how to make, and we sold them. We kept reinvesting the profits in the business, and here we are 20 years later. That's incredible. Yeah, that is crazy. an incredible story. The American dream. So, it's, I mean, it really is the American dream. But, I mean, in terms of the access to credit, you didn't need it. You just you, you no. did it yourself. You gave you yourself it. the advances on the credit card. Yep, and over the years, we've been working with a number of different banks. We work with um, J.P. Morgan's, our lead bank, and they've been fantastic in helping us grow and um, giving us some resources. But we still have all the equity, and we've got a little over 100 stores now throughout the country, and we work with all sorts of great organizations that we never thought we'd have the opportunity to work with. Is the, is the next move to take it public? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> what about an Amazon economy? Tell me about that, because you've got companies and stores going sure. out of business left and right because of the Amazoning uh, sure. that's gone on. One of the beauties about being privately held is that we're able to put the gas on and off when we want. Um, Amazon is amazing. We're huge fans of what Jeff has done, and you know we're big Amazon customers. What we want to do and what we think our customer is looking for is a better experience. Amazon's a great marketplace. Um, but when you go into our stores and you meet our customers and you get to touch and feel the product and you see the packaging we provide and all of the other cool lifestyle stuff that we do, we believe um, that there's a place for Amazon and brands. Uh, so You're right. The packaging is, is a big deal, actually. Yeah. So how do you grow it from here? I mean, you've got these ties that you brought in to show, sure. to show off, but I see we have a whole rack of... of dresses and I mean what's the next step in sure. terms of growth I mean I think one of the things that we're really having a lot of fun with is joining our customers the community that, uh, that follow Vineyard Vines with other passions in their life uh, we're really excited we just announced um, that we're going to be the official style of uh, the Boston Red Sox and Fenway Park but we're also the official style of the Kentucky Derby, the America's Cup. We're launched a partnership. This is this fantastic. The, yeah. Getting we into did sports. This for the yeah. America's Cup. I love so it. We just do kind of fun things. Really yeah. great. Yeah. Ian, Ian, Shep, Shep, Ian, great to see you both. All right, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Congratulations.